This is truly a momentous uh, occasion, and we're delighted that many of our partners, our families, our friends, and supporters have really traveled from around the world to, to be with us today. This is a very special event. It's about being a pioneer in changing our energy landscape. And this is an industry that will create jobs, it will provide greater energy security for this nation, and economic development in parts of the country that can really use it. This is also an industry that needs to be nurtured through stable regulatory policies that will help it grow. And if we can nurture this industry, it will provide this country dividends for many generations. And I just want to say to the people, and there are people out there, say, hey, we'd love to, you know, address greenhouse uh, gas problems and what have you and global climate change, but we can't afford it. That's what they said in Los Angeles in 1970 when we set about trying to clean up the air. They said we go broke doing it. We didn't go broke. California businesses thrived. No businesses left California, because guess what? Business people like to breathe clean air too. They want clean air for their kids and their grandkids. A dream to, try to transform the desert into a sea of mirrors, harnessing the sun to produce clean energy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today, Nevada Solar One makes this dream a reality. We need the continued support of public policies and the communities, and although it is very encouraging to see how every candidate running for the White House has included sustainability and energy independence as one of the key issues of their energy policies, there's still a long way to go. As I have many times stated publicly, ACCIONA alone is committed to reducing the world's CO2 emissions by 220 million tons by 2030. This amount is more than one full percentage point of the 18.4 18 billion tons of reduction needed to meet the 2030 deadline set by the IPCC, by the International Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change. So it is, it is unfortunate that uh, Dr. Pashari is not uh, able to join, has not been able to join us here today as uh, it was initially planned. I, I wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, it would have been a great honor to reiterate this commitment to him in person, as I'm sure for him it would have been a great source of hope to know that if one single Spanish company, not particularly big for world standards, can have such a relevant impact. The technology advances in our lifetime, we really see them as advances in human beings. We are going further as a human species. In the, in the energy world, trying to do the simplest steps, you know, using the least of the world's resources is one of those, and getting the most output that people like. We don't have to buy fuel, it comes from the sun. This solar plant here proves that a hot thing can also be cool. The Earth is an absolutely breathtaking sight out the window of a space shuttle. And I saw something that at first I didn't understand. Right along the horizon I saw this really, really thin royal blue line going all the way across Earth's horizon. And I had to think about it for a minute and then I realized that's Earth's atmosphere. And it really drives home how fragile our atmosphere is and how important planetary stewardship is to all of us. Uh, we only have one atmosphere and uh, we change it at our peril. Nevada Solar One is a great example of the planetary stewardship that we need. Today we face another challenge, a challenge stemming from the impact of our changing climate. Our response to that challenge could energize and mobilize this generation of kids just like the space program did mine. It can draw them into science and engineering so that they could be part of the solution and have an impact on their planet. We could once again make it cool to be an engineer. Imagine kids dreaming of transforming the desert land and sun into a clean source of energy, just like I dreamed of rocketing into space. Congratulations, Nevada Solar One. Our company has been involved in this project virtually from the beginning, 
And uh, we look forward to working with Oxiona and uh, continuing to expand renewable energy in Nevada, expand Nevada's position as being the number one provider of solar power per capita in the United States. Now it's my distinct pleasure to give a commendation, a, senat a senatorial certificate of commemoration presented in honor and celebration of the de dedication of Nevada Solar One from our wonderful U.S. Senator John Ensign. I give this to Peter Dupre. This is a truly historic moment. Three years ago, Acciona, the company I chair, certainly not without concern, decided to undertake this, um, this exciting initiative. And contributing our resources to this project was first a worthwhile business proposition. Second, a fascinating opportunity to build the state-of-the-art installation that would put our company at the forefront of techno technological innovation in this, in this area. And third, an excellent way to further contribute to the environmental balance and social progress that is key to our activity. The Nevada Solar One project represents the essence of what our company and those who work here are all about. That is, making compatible economic growth with social progress and environmental balance.